Hey, you beautiful big heads. It's your boy Zatch, and that time has finally come upon us to showcase Mia, the alternate version, the six star version. Anyways, as you can see, we are already here. She's fully leveled up. Equipment level 10, no refinements, because we gotta do this first. If you look right there, there's a little, you know, little, little glowy thing. あなたが巨像の管理人か。僕知れば。そこのキュートな僕。ご機嫌よ。I have a copy. <laughs> uh, let's just say I did another multi. I got pretty lucky. And then uh, from the singles, I got another five. So that wasn't her. But hey, a free move you buy dupe, I'll take it. Anyway, so, well, since we're here, let's start with this first. So, the first breakthrough makes her first skill, the summoning, the preemptive. And then, this last one, at max breakthrough, makes Baba Yaga's birth have preemptive, technically, and then it's on a zero turn cooldown. Which isn't bad, you know, then you can generate a shield every turn, but going that far for just that, I wouldn't really do it. These are her skills, we have quite a few things, so let's read them real quick. So, main active skill, upon entering the illustrious state, increases basic attack by 15%. Number of attacks can now be dealt diagonally. Instantly gains shield equal to 75% of Mia's health. Now, that's really good because, well, <laughs> attack buffs are always great. <laughs> if you know anything, the other two characters, uh, Araya and Azure, who also have attack buffs, do some pretty disgusting things so that alone it's really good now the second skill um baba yaga's birth consumes 7 percent of team's current health to create a shield equal to 150 percent of her attack so she has two ways of creating shields which is great because of her equipment skill it takes effect because of you know shields but we'll get there tan combo two surrounding clusters big damage 180 so really good like you know the standard good big bam with detonator so she wasn't screwed over there and then the, the big chunky boy down here which honestly, I do not feel like scrolling, so we're going to go to equipment Are you sure? When shielded, all of Mia's damage increases by 12%, and she gains a bonus damage base on shield value and current health percent. When shield value reaches 50% of the team's max health, the bonus damage maxes out at 10%, and when health reaches the lowest, bonus damage maxes out at 5%. That just means more shield, once shield goes past 50% of your max health, you're going to have 10% more damage, and then the lower your health gets, the more damage you get. Similar, but not exactly the same to Hades' situation with the lower her health gets. You get it, you get it. Pretty much, she loves shields. So, yeah. That in mind, let's go look at some teams, shall we? So this is the one the team we're actually using for the showcase because I am purposely not using Lilica just so I can use it in a video later on. This team still works pretty well because we still have Haiti here who can take full advantage of the fact that Baba Yaga's birth lowers our health. And then we have Ishma here just so we can get more, you know, big hits with her chain combo just because why not. I see because I see is a converter, but also she can heal. So she's right in a good in-between spot. And Maggie just for high conversion. And then if we go to over here, we have other choices that you can literally put on this team. Uh, Matthew is another character that converts and gives you shield. So even if you ain't got Baba ba Yaga's birth up to give yourself a shield to get that additional damage or get your shields high enough to the point where you get the full 10% extra damage, you, ha you can have Matthew there to also give you some extra shields when he uses his chain combos. Look us here because, well, if there's a shield and her array is down, she'll do some mean damage, if you don't know. Um, we do have local videos. Go check them out. And that's how you get people to check out other videos. Bang, just like that. Now you might be wondering, why is Rene here? Well, um, if you're going to use Loka, Arena is actually a really good choice to go alongside her because Loka's damage with her shield situation is based upon her defense and Rena, when she uses her active skill, as long as you're inside of her, hers is called a barrier, it's the same shit, array, barrier, same thing. Um, she actually does increase the team's defense, which will allow Lil Le Lilica's equipment to do even more damage. So yeah. Then we have Jaquine, who, well, when you lose health, she makes a shield and she can also lose her own health to make a shield. This could also work really well with Haiti as well who also likes for characters to remove health so she can do more damage. So Duckin was a nice free to play character that they gave out. If we go over here, we have some more options. Um, these is some other converters you can use if you don't want to use the ones we already gone over. Uh, Smothering So Carlene, she also does pretty good damage, but also she has mobility upon her conversion. Same thing with Smokey, you get damage with mobility in her conversion, but her conversion is a little bit more random because you know it just resets tiles. And then Oriole, Resets the entire board again. Random conversion, but at the same time, if enemy can be burned on top of you know her converter, you get a little bit extra damage for you know each burn stack. So yeah, 
that, that's your options. Let's go use this team, shall we? Now, if you notice, I do have uh, me at the back of the team. That's more so because in many situations, like having Matthew, after they use a gene combo, obviously you'll get more shield. So it just allows you to get all the shield building out of the way. Hold on, let me... Hmm, I want to... I'll still get hit, but it's whatever. But it just lets you get all the shield building out of the way, you know? So <laughs> it once you get to Mia. If you, if you have the shield to get the extra effects, you have the shield to get the extra effects. That's just pretty all there is. But let's use this, shall we? And then, sure, why not? Let's lower our health a little bit more. Because there's no bad side in it, because it just lets <laughs> you do more damage. Uh, let's also do you. And then, I mean, I, I could just use all of it. Yeah, I could. Doth not really matter, and it doesn't. Wait, where would this place me? Yeah, no, that's a terrible spot. We can just probably just hit him with Hades stuff after we get all the way around. Mm, I could definitely do that better. We could just go literally the other way. Just to get an extra hit him. Oh yes, but four times speed, look at us go, you know? <laughs> it's gonna, it's gonna cut down this, we're going to cut down the time just a smidgen. But, yeah, um, Mia. I like her. Like I said in my other video. Um, it really does solidify fire as a team that wants shields. Similar to the whole uh, enhanced out situation with Forrest. He should be summoning bombs. I am correct. Yeah, but it's nice, you know? Now, again, I am thinking the water team will become a team that wants to utilize team switching and then thunder. I, I honestly don't know. I do not know. But it, it's, it is slowly starting to seem like they do have a plan with what they want to do with these teams, which is good. They've been making better choices. Story, really good. Um, how they change Calamity Codex is nice. Still need to make a video on that. <laughs> yeah, maybe it. I just been one busy with work, but two letting my mouth feel. You know, I don't. I didn't want to use my face if it's going to just make healing take longer. So obviously, y'all understand that. Y'all won't be mad at me for something like that. What are you about to do, buddy? Fire. Hmm. 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 That's terrible. Hmm. I mean, I could just sit right here, but I'm going to get smacked in the face regardless. Ew, how big is your explosion? Yeah, okay, so I'm getting hit regardless. So. We're going to do this. <laughs> we're just going to do this. And then we'll have a shield up. And then when he hands us on to that one. Alright, man. Just look, look, see? We're fine. Now he's gonna send them more bombs. We can 100% get in there and smack his face if we really wanted to. Uh, and Maggie won't be up for two turns. Yes, we should be in range to teleport to him at this point. But how much damage can we do? Let's see, Haiti. Let's see. I really do love Haiti, man. Like, the more I used her, the more I was like, eh, yeah, this is my place. <laughs> this is definitely my place out hurting myself. Mm hmm. Right up my alley. Because I'm stupid. If you haven't realized, I'm very dumb. You know, I, I, I choose the worst possible decisions that always get me into trouble. <laughs> but that's the fun, right? Like, that's the fun of it. Also, if you realize, most of the time I don't fully max up my characters. That's not because I can't. Like, if, if I just, you know, use refresh and grind out like crazy, I could max out more characters at 80 but where's the fun in that you know because obviously it just makes it more easier to beat stuff i'm only doing it for me because i actually do want her equipment refinement it hurts it burns uh, hmm i see a path but i don't want to take it hmm it'll spit fire. oh actually no that won't be that good but I gotta set myself up right here. Because doing this isn't worth it right here. Uh, let's see. Teleport. Yeah, that's only gonna move me right there. Ooh, this is tragic. No good spots. I could just I could just take the hit. I could just take the hit again. I, I'm, uh, I believe Icy's healing effect should be up next turn. So like I will die, right? We could, we could take two hits. Yeah, look, 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 look. Right on the brain. All right, right where I like to be. Beautiful. Perfect. 
Man, we all we all know. When I, when I'm playing Haiti, I love taking damage. I I love it. I can't I can't remember who it is, but there's a character somewhere who just who similar to Haiti. You know, the more they get beat up, the more the stronger they get. But I can't remember who it is. But man, they were such a masochist. I don't know. I can't remember. Let's go. Now let's look at it. Bing, 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 bing. Beat him up, beat him up. I mean, look at it. Like, you know, we're so wet together. You know, we're just... We're just playing with our lives. You know, nothing wrong with that. Look, we'll get some health back. Look, see? Look, look we're at 36. And look at him bleeding out of his fucking eye sockets. This is beautiful. They're gonna make more bombs. We're gonna hit him first. And then we're gonna hit him again. Look at that. It's beautiful. Uh... Now, if we get lucky, because we could just do this and pray to God that we get, you know, some good tiles. Oh, look, he's dead. Look at him. Fucking fool. What's this? Look, 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 look. Bink, 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 bink. And he's a goner. So you look. Good team. Don't you just love when characters are flexible? <laughs> <laughs> so Mia, her rating is definitely S plus at bare minimum, in my opinion. Now, once you get some refinements in there and you get like at least one breakthrough, she'll probably most definitely be at SS. I only said it because without her, you know, first breakthrough, it does slow down the bursting, but that's all it does. It slows down the bursting. It doesn't stop the bursting, it just slows it down. This girl's good. Mech shields, it does damage. What more can you ask for, man? On top of that, great team flexibility. You saw those options I gave you. You can some max those characters however you want. And then, that's not even talking about other teams in terms of other elements because she also just makes her oh I, man look at me i completely forgot about novio that, that's my bad novio is another character that she could be used with look, look look at me i forgot about little novio but then again then you could use it with like um noah um Phyllis shy like the, you can use her outside of you know the team you're using her like she's not bound to fire because she was art in other places which is great for her so this is this is an extremely flexible character, and I love those the most. Y'all saw how I was walking Leo because he was so flexible. But yeah, she also well solidifies fire as the shield team. But yeah, no fire shields. Look at them having a great baby together. But anyways, yes, S plus she's great. Um, SS if you have uh, what breakthroughs and or refinement. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I will see you in the next one. Obviously, it will be for Swartz. That probably will be tomorrow. More day if I'm feeling it. Anyways, I'll see you next one. Love you guys and bye bye.